and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing us how to make a um, hairband with crinoline design. Hairband with crinoline design. So for this class, we'll be needing just any fabric of your choice. I'll be using this um, black uh, metallic fabric or black shiny fabric. We'll be needing our Harley's band, though I've used this Harley's band for something before, I just removed it. We'll be needing our Harley's band. We'll be needing our crinoline. The crinoline I have here is um, three inches crinoline. The width is three inches. No, sorry, it's two inches crinoline. The width is two inches. So, I will, this is the lace trimming. They sell it, use it in the finishing your inside fascinator or use it for design. You understand? They call it um, it's less trimming or bias trimming. I don't know, but just anything. The most important thing is you've seen the picture. I just want it. I just want to use it uh, for my design. This here, I have bias. You know why I have this bias? We'll be covering up this our Harley's band. So you can decide to use your bias to cover up your Harley's band, or you decide to use your fabric to cover up your Harley's band. I'm still your online tutor, Nipsey Stitches. We are located here in Port Harcourt, River State. And you can reach us anytime on 080-37-496-130. Contact us for both your physical and online training. So, first and foremost, we are going to be covering this, our Harley's band. And for the Harley's band, I'll be cutting out uh, my fabric, which I will use to cover all this Harley's band. We will still be used, needing our gum. There is no work without gum. So for every work that we will be doing, your gum is a must have. Okay? So I'm, I'm just going to be cutting out the parts that will be enough for me to cover up my Harley's brand. So I'll be covering up my Harley's band with this um, fabric and the measurement I have here, this fabric is on fold, I folded into two, the measurement I have is 1.5, that means when it's not on fold it's 3 inches. I'm going, to, I'm going to be cutting it out, I'll use it for covering my Harley's band, I told us that you can use your bias strip to cover up your Harley's band, you can even use um, why do I always forget this bigger, this thing? Okay. Just know that you can anything can serve for covering up your Harley's band. Any fabric, if you're using fabric to cover your Harley's band, that means it has to be any fabric that you're using for the work. That's what you use to cover up your Harley's band. Okay. So that's my cutout for my Harley's band covering. So with my fabric still folded into two, still folded into two like this, I'm going to be covering up this work this way. Let it still be folded into two, okay? Don't do it single so that the finishing will be fine. Fold it into two. So you won't be having rough edges. Okay. See what I'm doing? It's easy. You have to draw it so that it will be firm on the Harley's band. Okay. When you put you drag it, let it be firm on the Harley's band. And see the way I'm going. I'm going like this. I'm not going to draw it so that it will be firm on the Harley's band. Okay? When you put, you drag it. Let it be firm on the Harley's band. And see the way I'm going. I'm going like this. I'm not going like this. You understand? If you go like that, straight like this, it will be very thick. Be going as if you're slanting your fabric. 
as if you're slanting your fabric that's how you're going to do this covering make sure your fabric is still folded into two don't use it as single please so that's basically how we're going to be going that's it just like that you see it that's how i'm going to be doing it until i'm done covering up the harley's band hmm? until i'm done covering up the harley's band so i've gotten to the end this you see it's just remaining small parts so when i get here i'm going to cover up this place like this hmm? Go and now bring it here and end it up inside so i'm going to cut off cut off my excesses i'll be putting my gum so i'm not going off the camera please so I put my gum. I told you that when using when using this um, this UHU gum, when you put it, just allow it for some few minutes to get dried a bit. Hmm? Allow it for some time to get dried a bit, so that as soon as you stick what you want to stick or gum what you want to gum, it will just gum at once without giving you much stress. So, I'm going to hold it down for some time to stick. Okay, it's, it's, uh, it has properly sticked. And you see our Harley's band, all beautiful and very neat. The next thing I'm going to do, I actually wanted to use this black for this place. But it's just going to be too dark. Everywhere will just be black, like a... Uh, as if we are going for, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this white one in place of that black. And what are we going to do with it? I will just be sticking it to this center point. Hmm? So what you do is a simple procedure. Just put your fabric on. I said they call this thing Bayaso. You see it in tailoring shops. You see it in fascinator shop. They sell the they sell it two hundred naira per pack. Sorry, two fifty per pack. But if you want to go and measure one one yard, they sell a yard. Some people sell a yard for hundred naira. So me, I don't like buying it per yard. I like going for the the pack. It's actually cheaper. Hmm? So you put your gum. You just make sure you centralize it please put it at that center you want it to be mm -hmm. you hold it down for some time it sticks like that so that's how i'm going to do it and then use it to burn the whole of the center i'll do that and get back to you all right so i've um, attached it i've attached the lace trimming or the bias or whatever you call it to the center you see what we have right now so we'll set it aside and cut out our crinoline which we'll be using for the design so for my crinoline design i'm going to the crinoline i told you that they oh this is a dog yeah? i told you that the width of the crinoline is two inches let's confirm it the width of the crinoline See, it is two inches. So this is two inches crinoline. So for my first measurement, I have 18 inches. I cut out 18 inches. We are going to be shortening it by three inches. This is 18 inches. The next one will cut out 15 inches. We'll cut out 15 inches. So this, that's my 15 inches. This is my 
15 inches. See? Then the next one, we are cutting out um, 12 inches. So this is my 12 inches. I think three should be enough now. Three should be enough. Or if we need more than three, that means we are going to cut out 20 inches because we can't go smaller than this. We can't go smaller than 13 inches. Note that we have cut out 18, 15, and 13 inches. So if we want to make it four, that means we'll go for 20 inches. Let me see if we have up to 20 inches here. Okay. Let's say we'll go for 20 inches. So we have four crinoline cutouts with different measurements. And so we are going to still be cutting out the fabric to cover up this crinoline. Like I told you, this crinoline is four inches width. You understand? So our fabric, because the, the crinoline will enter inside the fabric, that means we need something to go around. And going around this uh, crinoline is four inches. Four inches. We need to be sewing to cover up the crinoline casing so we are going to be cutting 4.5 inches width for all of them and then the length of the crinoline so as this one now is is um this is the 18 inches as this one is 18 inches that means this is the 18 inches that means the length will be 18 inches while the width will be 4.5 inches for the fabric cut out so i'm going to cut out the fabric now so I have the four cutouts for the different crinoline sizes. I have the four cutouts for the different crinoline sizes. The 20 inches, the 18 inches, the 15 inches, and the 13 inches. This one, the 20 inches. This one is so this. So what we'll do now, I will take it to my sewing machine, I will clap it. This side is the front side of the fabric. This is the back side of the fabric. So the front side will be this way. I will now clap it. Then run a straight stitch. From one point to the other. Then run a straight stitch from here straight down to this point. I will do that for the four of them and turn it inside out and turn them inside out. I clapped into two. I will do a straight straight down to this point. I will do that for the four of them and turn it inside out and turn them inside out. I clapped into two. I will do a straight stitch. Then after which I will turn all of them, the four of them inside out. Let me do that and get back to you. I'm done closing it up. Look at it. I closed it up. So what I will do now is to turn it inside out. Hmm? Turn it inside out. So after turning it inside out, We've turned it inside out. After turning it inside out, you know different measurements now. We have 20. We have the 18 inches. So you check for the longest one here. The longest of the crinoline too, which is the 20 inches. You fix the 20 inches inside here. It should, this place that you join should be at the center. It should not be at the side, please. It should be at the center. So fixing your crinoline inside you can use your safety pin to do it this my fabric is somehow so i'm using my safety pin too 
So I'll use my safety pin to fix it in. I told you that that part that you saw should be at the center point, okay? Using my crinoline to fix it in. So I'll drag it out, remove my safety pin. You see it? This is it. This place should be at the center. You understand? So I will do that for the remaining three and get back to you. I fixed in the four, the four crinoline inside. The next thing I will take to my sewing machine or use your needle and thread. I will run a straight stitch here, run a straight stitch here for the four, as in straight down. I will sew from here to here. Then from here to here, I will do the same for all of them so that the crinoline will not fall out. So let me do that and get back to you. I've covered it up. Like I told you, if you see the edges now, it's all sealed. So the crinoline cannot fall out. The crinoline cannot fall out. Right now, you now thread your needle. Let me be sure I'm capturing this. You thread your needle and then we are going to be forming... Um, how will I call it? We are going to be forming a is it a bow? A bow, which is just what I will do. I just put this edge together, then bring it to the center like this. You now use your needle and thread to tack it down at the center point. Use your needle and thread to tack it down at the center point, or you can decide to go and sew it down at the center point. Any any one you feel like doing. You see what I did? I just had to bring the two like this, together like this. Then I brought it down to the center. So, I now said you can decide to use your navel and thread to tack this point, this center point. Or you can sew it straight down. Put it on your sewing machine, do it straight down. Or use your navel and thread, tack this point. Do same for the other ones, the rest ones. So, I'm not going to be using my needle and thread. I will just use my sewing machine to run a straight stitch. But using your needle and thread is easy. You just pass your needle and thread here. It will hold it. Hmm? It will hold it in place. It will hold it in place. So, do whatsoever. It's easy for you to do. I'm done joining all together. The next thing we're going to do, you know, it's of different sizes. Small, smaller, smallest, or big, bigger, biggest. So this bigger one will be down, followed by this. Just um, put it according to the sizes. The smallest one will be on top. Okay, just like this. And then you're going to use your needle and thread and then tack the four tack the four together easy so that your needle will not does not uh, hurt your fingers so i'm just going to be tacking it tacking all of them together It's a bit, it's, it's thick, not real, not that it's a bit thick. So that's why I'm using my table to support myself. I don't want to hurt my fingers. So what I'm just doing is tacking all of them down. That's what I'm just doing here. So I'm done tacking them together. I will now tighten it up firmly and then cut off my excess thread. Cut off my excess thread. So this is what we'll have for now. So right now what we'll do, we'll now get our Harley's band. Ta-da! <laughs> get back our Harley's band and then attach our design to it this way. You see it? 
I want it to be by the side. So you know, just um, try and position your own on your door head or on your head and know where you want it to be. Then you now pack it or tie it up to the to your Harley's band. But I'm sure tacking will be the best bet, you understand? Or you tie it down. If I say tie it down, this is what I mean. To the center. It has to be firm. Yes, your tying has to be very firm. Yes, your tying has to be very firm. to be very as in very very fair so that it won't lose it later mm -hmm. position it well make sure it's well positioned and then you tie when it's firm enough you tighten your thread together and cut off the excesses You see that our thread line we are not going to leave it like that see let me position it on my door head and be sure it's it's just the way i want it before we do our final finishing if you are sure it's on the position you want it to be you see this our thread line we are going to be covering it i have this my lace trim in here i can still use it to cover it up like this at the center i have my black i can still use it to cover it up i wish you can talk to me and tell me the one that came out fine but you are not here to talk to me so let me just do do what i feel is uh, but let's just put your whole gum you can use and just anything you know, to cover up your thread line but make sure it's something really beautiful that will bring out your work. You can still put a brooch at that, at that center. You understand? Just be creative with whatsoever thing you're doing. Just be creative with it. Anything you want to use, get a brooch, put it at the center. Pepper me with your designs. I can't wait to see them. So, you don't have to show this your thread line. You don't have to show the world that you use thread for that part. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. We are professionals. So, we have to, our finishing has to be superb. Okay? So, we end showing the world our thread line. beautiful designs in different colors of your choice and sending your practicals I can't wait to see them and always feel free to ask your questions please feel free to ask your questions anytime I'm here to answer them or I'm here for you now okay so that is that a hairband is ready. I know you like it. This hairband a pepper, yeah. Now the pepper them gang with this. The black is beautiful. Black and a touch of uh, white. So 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 so. This is um, where we we'll draw our cotton today. Thank you for staying tuned. Bye.